Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to A Devil Cellar. My name is Rodrigo Raikyu and I'm here to introduce you to another classic video games of all times. Welcome to episode number one of season number seven. And since we are about to end the end of the year, I wanted to actually revisit some video games I actually impacted a, a long time ago. Part of my life actually, in regards to experience, comparing it between those times to the nowadays. And here is the one video game who, uh, that I was able to actually catch up once again with. And just in case, this video game is not for the people with a sensitive nature or that they cannot really handle uh, violence and graphic scenes very well. Let me introduce you to a classic video game produced by Rockstar Video Games. This is titled Manhunt. Manhunt came out in year 2000, it was released back in year 2004 by Rockstar Video Games. And what happened is, uh, since like many people actually they were impressed and excited at the same time about like how the world was being spread massively at the time, like you know, in the early era of the internet, um, people they wanted to know what this uh, video game was about, you know, there were TV, TV commercials, things like that, like uh, accessible, and even they uh, made it to the shelves of the of the video game stores at the time. So it happened that when Xbox had the opportunity to release their their own copy of it, especially PlayStation 2, and of course, the other thing is, uh, as uh, this video game went through a major ban like worldwide basically actually in many uh, specific countries like uh, i believe it was england yeah north america australia new zealand and many other places around basically like they banned the video game and they came to the point that they had to be pulled out from the shelves on the points of sales myself i can probably say that i came across in year 2010 and through this ad on kijiji at the time and I contacted the guy who basically who uh, had this video game for sale he had two rockstar video games for sale for the original Xbox and one of them was uh, a Grand Theft Auto Vice City right released by rockstar video games and also this guy he was holding on to Manhunt now he asked me like you know what there are many people asking me for the for a copy of this video game how come like what's the big deal with this video game it was some young guy basically located all the way in the other side of the city. He, I was living in Toronto at the time and he was living in Oshawa. He put it the ad and thankfully one of the bands that at the time I uh, was a uh, booking, uh, like uh, I asked them actually since they were coming from that area, before playing the, the show on the same day that I was going to actually host them and one of the venues named Siesta Nouveau, probably some of you can recall that like in Toronto. The band Pressure with Diamonds and their members, they decided to basically like uh, grab the copy for me and I paid them back uh, upon arrival of the uh, to the city when they had to play the event. As I couldn't make it all the way to Oshawa, they pick it up for me. The thing is that uh, the guy who I was in touch with, uh, the seller, he was uh, younger than me at the time. I was like in my early 30s and he was basically like a... Um, yeah, he was actually... Uh, yeah, he was a kind of a late teens, I would say. So he didn't know much about the video game. But uh, he said, like, what's the big deal with this video game? And I said to him, it's a very special video game. And I, he was selling it for $10, I remember. I said to him, if you reserve it for me, I give you 20 bucks for it. Like I doubled the price for what he was selling it for. So I got my copy, thankfully, over here. And I can show you actually how exactly like it still remain nice and crystal clear because like that's how I like to maintain my video games too like I take care of uh, the many items that I have we don't all the manual right see which is something very important and hard to find of course right but uh, this video game was really well taken care of and uh, luckily since the video game uh, when I came out back in year 2004 I had the opportunity to play it in the end of year 2004 as well and it happened um, when I played this video game. After that, um, I played it first on PlayStation 2. Then I got the opportunity to play it on uh, on the original Xbox. 
And then it got re-released in year 2016 for the PlayStation 3 as a remastered version that also, it had like also, uh, you could um, uh, obtain achievements according to how you execute, like produce the whole, you know, the whole thing in the, the video game according to how you advance with it. And now, since like I went to Steam, they have a promotion until tomorrow. And they were selling it for three dollars Canadian. So I go, why the fuck now? Let's go and get it. So basically, I decided to get for the first time access to the version in in PC, and it runs spectacularly amazingly. Like it's it's one thing that actually I don't regret, especially when I like a video game so much. I can try it in any format possible. Like as if I like it so much, I'm gonna purchase the format of it because it's a it's a great video game. And there's no regret for it, but as I say to you guys, this is for a mature audience. It's not for people who are with a very sensitive nature. So before this, if you are ready to follow me through the walkthrough of the video game, you're more than welcome. But some of you might regret it. This is season number seven, episode number one of the Devil Cellar introducing Menhans with Rodrigo Rakio, the Jagulator. Now, since we're here on the on the main menu, we're gonna actually like go through all these uh, different things. And they got feature here, so nothing is here, of course. Uh, that's for bonus features. So according to how many stars we achieve in each level, and that's where basically it's gonna re release certain imagery or or sketches about the video game that they that related to it to that brought the creation, the final creation here of the video game. Now we got settings, so everything's fine on settings. Um, we don't need to load a game. We're gonna start a new one, right? So that's all we we need, basically. Yeah. So we're gonna start a new game. And over here, like what we do is that we're gonna check like the brightness of the of the game. Actually, we're gonna put it about there, basically. So what it says uh, over here is actually suggesting us like uh, to ex in order to have a better experience uh, with the video game manhunt. It's very important that actually we close the drapes and there's no light around us or anything like that. We gotta lock the door and we have to get ready to kill. So hopefully she doesn't hear me at all, like on the next door, right? <laughs> so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go in fetish style, right? And then we're gonna choose this one uh, over here. So there we go. So hopefully everything is uh, loud and clear. I see two people watching at the moment, so and hello Misha, by the way, uh, hello Saumia, what is it, uh, thank you for watching the, this video game, hopefully you guys enjoyed this it. This goes all the way to the top. I can't trust anyone, least of all the police, and time's running out. I've got to get the one piece of evidence that will expose stark weather without a shadow of a doubt. Footage and testimony of a man who was executed by the state five hours ago. James Earl Cash. Ugh. Found guilty and sentenced to Ugh. death has been on death row for the past three years and was executed last night. Hey, tough guy, wake up. You're not dead. Well, not yet, anyway. You'll get a second chance. Another throw of the dice. As far as the world is concerned, you died back in the chamber. Justice was served. James Earl Cash is rotting in the house. Okay, 
So alright, so basically since we're playing the PC version, we're gonna direct it with the we play with the keyboard and the mouse. Alright, so here we go. The graphics actually are very nice, clear, very nice high definition right there. And you see like how um he has like a Ah, what is it? Like a new piece, right? They say one thing that actually you could do with the original Xbox. That actually, um, you can buy, purchase like a, the the extra, like a earpiece, right? But it goes connected first, like a, to the to the joystick. And from the joystick, you just put like a headphone, and basically you can hear every single instruction from Stark Weather directly. So it makes you feel like a, that you are experiencing the video game, that you are really in it, right? Like, so the experience is much more real. Now, these are the first instructions uh, to execute uh, this uh, dumb fuck. <laughs> oh, it says over there on the wall. Kill this dumb fuck. Alright. So you just like uh, press the action button in this case uh, either punch right and um, you have to of course like it goes still most like a kind of a slow right. Go on. So what you do is that uh, you hold the button down right, either button, and then you just say uh, release it, and that's how it executes uh, the enemy. So here comes the hunter. So one thing about the PC version is that I had to insert like a certain files and codes in order like to make it run smoothly because it was such a headache in the beginning. Once you download the video game from Steam, you have to basically modify it on your own. So if you know some coding or things like that or how to like do different settings and changes to it, like you may as well like basically apply it to this one like okay, so you can bring the video game to function normally Beautiful. more than like you cannot really expect nicely. nothing to happen like especially in that part of the gate so there are a lot of people users of steam when they got this video game they were complaining how the the dude who i just executed wasn't passing through the gate so I, I was just waiting for him like before like to come but he wouldn't actually like make it through all the way he would just be waiting there and uh, I would have to approach him eventually like I had to be seen in a certain way to get there so give me the best you've got and you'll deal with this pussy no problem the gate will open once I'm done filming here you've signed your death warrant Really? So that was a face to face confrontation. It doesn't mean actually that you have to be hiding at all times, like uh, to play in stealth mode through the game. But uh, this actually shows, like, uh, in a way, that's an example of uh, how you could fight like uh, your enemies and 
and that no at all times which is actually most of the time in the video game you're gonna be playing stealth modes right now the more we advance through the game we're gonna find different sorts of weapons and methods of execution so this is i'm gonna show you something disgusting one Oy. Yeah. They're going to be screaming your name, As boy. I said earlier, whoever is watching right now in this video game, this ain't dedicated to people with sensitive nature. So be aware. I see a few hooks around these vans. Sorry, I should explain. Each gang has their, let's just call it, their thing. These guys call themselves the Hoods, but none of that should bother you. As far as you're concerned, they're meat. Okay, so when you find yourself in situations like that, what you do is that uh, you run a bit and you hide, right? So they come after you and uh, you are right on the blue there. God damn. I'm beat, man. You know what's the problem though? Hold them down. Oh. I had to get a weapon. And that's the reason why I wasn't oh, able to access to this. So we're just gonna wait here. Oh yeah, he's a slippery basket, alright. There you go. So we're gonna go and try to find the next weapon. Which is actually located somewhere here. Right next to the van. Come on. I'm coming over there, you prick. Take him. Holy. <clears throat> you think this hurts? <clears throat> So not only like I'm, I'm being kicking your ass, I'm gonna also execute you. So what I do in this case, you cannot see me, right? Come on, man, let's get this show on the road. Break him. He's fast. I'll give him. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> what you jerking off to this really believe it or not some people jerk off to this kind of sick shit Anything you just holler. Cut him out. 
Nice. Look at the rats are biting. The, the oh, call man! I told you to watch this guy. Shit! That's right. You keep hiding in the trash where you belong. Thing is, that right now I have to get a weapon, right? What I'm gonna do is uh, use a weapon actually that I need to find. There we go. Another plastic bag. We look at plastic bag for you shopping. For your purchase, right there. So I'm gonna give you one, right? Since we're on the store. Why the fuck now? Okay, so you want it the hard way, huh? It's just a matter of time. Liquidate! I don't care if it takes all night! I'm going to find you. There you go. Nice. Blood all over the screen. So we go right here, and there's the rear mode. The sports are cute. And so we didn't make it so much of a score here because, uh, of course, I'm trying to make like a walkthrough, so I'm not like a striving to make it perfect, but at least that uh, you guys can see some details in it, right? So we're gonna save, right? And we're gonna go to the following one. There we go. So we're just gonna overwrite that. You're doing fine, Cash. Just oh, fine. Thank you. We're getting some great material here. Hell Keep yeah. Going. There you go. So basically, the guy he's wearing a mask already, and I put a plastic bag on him. So that's another mask. Great. Yes. You got a real taste for this. Now that's a new weapon. Small baseball bat, right? And I get the the glass shard, right? Special windows like this one can be smashed. And we create a new glass shard. Okay, so we're just checking out this thing here, right? That's where we came from. Let's see what we're gonna find. So hold down the first person button. Mm. 
Yeah, we will, so. Me. So that was save point. Hmm. Looks like someone is looking at us. Here's a crowbar you won't care. Ah, ah that guy again. I oh, see you. The <laughs> fuck out of here. Slaughter the pig. 
I know you can hear me. Oh fuck. I release the bottom and fuck it up. How did it You can't let them know your position. You wanna play catch? Fine. Oh, what what do you think I can see? Bring Kai back off. We got it covered. Run all you want. Back up the run. Ah, shit. I lost it. This is getting old, man. Show yourself. Yeah. yeah, they're not as dumb as you would imagine, right? <laughs> Sweet, so let's go and open the compartment where the that gate that we found before. I don't think there's more enemies anywhere, right? Okay. Before anything else, we just go here. Okay, and that's it. And guess what happened? This fucking shit just ah, uh, it just crashed. Okay. okay, so this is the version in the Xbox. Like it looks more blurry, right? Kind of more like a dirty, no way. More snuff, if you wanna say. Oh, I have passed quite a few levels from before, right? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start from the third one, right? The road, road to ruin. 
because we already passed the, the two first levels of Born Again and our way into hell. So you notice uh, how there's more like a effect and greed on it. I know where you are. I'm coming for in his pen. You can't hide all night. We're gonna find you. Nothing here, just wind or something. Go on! Now check this out. Nice. Coming over there to snap your neck. already here. Oh shit! Oh my god, that was fucking scary. That was fucking scary, oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about the fucker there. Oh fuck. That really gave me the gave me the chills. I'm not kidding. 
that really gave me the chills. Fuck, like seriously, I was like, what the fuck, man? Oh, I was yeah. like, whoa, what? This guy won't be getting back up anytime soon. Come on. I know you're around here somewhere, you rat bastard. <laughs> nice. That was nice and quick. Now, holy shit. Throw the crap out of me. Again. Oh my god. Well, he ain't here. Better get the energy thing. Oh, there. Oh. I thought I took it already.
mine's playing tricks. Come on. Oops, sorry. Gotta be around here someplace. Snuff him out. See his face closer? No. Mm. I'm gonna go to this park here. Oh, another one. Okay, so. Must have been a cat or something. I'm gonna get this asshole and clean the back. Nice. Wanna hide, huh? <sighs> Seen anything yet? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, I got your number, whoever you are. Come on. Stay sharp. You hanging in there? Here I come. Yes, I am. 
I can hear you. Where are you? Come on, man. He's got to be over there somewhere. If it was him, he's long gone. I'm hearing things. I stepped in some shit back there. I don't think it was dog shit either. Come on, this is boring, man. Come out and fight. Do you see him? Nothing. Sharp, man. Don't let him get the jump on you. What? Morons, blow it! I said use your damn head. Think, man. Think. Oh hell! I lost the slimy fuck. I know you're here somewhere. I jump. before I find you, freak ass.
Get ready, boys. He's coming. Give Mr. Starkweather a show to remember. Move it! Sherry's about to get real. blood lacks the strength for confrontation. If I don't get my hands on this freak soon, I'm gonna take it out on someone else. It's only a matter of time before this guy makes a mistake, and I'll be there. So you have as an option, either carry the glass bottle or just a change for the head of the decapitated one. No, I need to say to pick it up. I gotta hold it basically. There we go. So now I'm carrying the head of the dead. Okay.
gonna cut him a new ass. Careful. There's a bigot guarding the gate. If he sees you, he'll call his cheery buddies. I think that guy is only stationary. Come out and fight you, inbred monkey! Coming over there, Cool. Hold up here for sure. I can feel it. Someone did a real job on him.
I know you're here. Now one thing, do you recognize a hangar right there? That's actually the same hangar of the Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Or also a Grand Theft Auto like a, yeah, Vice City Stories as well. I don't have the crowbar. Now we have a knife. So we just need the padlock, which is weird. Like I remember I had the crowbar somewhere this side here. Is that the crowbar? This is no, oh, yes, a bottle. Shit. Need the crowbar. I got 
that, the wire. That's a knife. It should be somewhere here. I don't see it. Where am I, am I gonna get the crowbar from? Hmm. I think this is the part I get stuck, right? Okay, wait a second. The way it looks like there, I don't even need the crowbar, I need the knife. Okay, so I was kidding myself, right? There we go. All right, now I go to the checkpoint. Didn't I make myself clear enough? I want gore, Cash. Gore! Fine, okay. Now, I take the ladder. do I say then? Okay, if I came from there... No. Go back. Finally, okay, keep cutting. See one man being hanged there? That's scary. There's a nail gun in that trailer. If you can stand the smell. You out that easily, did you? 
It's an electric lock. Find the release switch. Mongrels have a yellow streak in them, a mile wide. I can smell your Ooh. tainted blood like rotten eggs. I can't find this goddamn freak anywhere. Still need to get the the nail gun, right? But inbred filth leaves its trail. Embrace your salvation and prostrate yourself before the Lord. <laughs> So either it's an L gun or the or the knife, but I would definitely trade it for the for the knife there. Yeah. Better run here. Oh my god. I'm fucked. Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Stamina, okay. Wow. Shit. You know what I'm gonna do to you, boy? Do ya? Myself some energy. Fuck. Ah, he 
must be used to hide. You never show me nothing but the strap and your fist, did you, Paul? Fell that part, I can't believe it. You know, so I would have to start all over again basically. And that part that I got to. The Lord has to lift Jesus Christ! Harry! <laughs> this them like from farther away <clears throat> I'm sick of this crap
Paul said I'd see some dead folks. I know you're here. I can smell the filthy mess in your pants. Chicken shit! It's to be right. This would be the most exciting thing I've done. What should we do? That's it. Okay, one 
that's the part. Okay, we opened that gate. I do remember the gate. yourself I don't blame you mm -hmm. nothing no he's inferior in every way <laughs> the nail gun. He went berserk with that uh, nail gun, eh? Imagine if I just remain out those shadows there. So here we go. And that was the exit of the junkyard. Wow, we play about like 36 minutes on it. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna save the game here. And that would be it for it for tonight. Once again, thank you so much for watching episode number one of uh, the season number seven of the Devil Cellar Classic Video Game. This was uh, Rodrigo Jaguleiro Rakio, directly from the Devil Cellar. As I was going to say to you, in a way, I really apologize that there was uh, some uh, situations in regards to like, uh, how the the video game was crashing and all of that. I believe people are still complaining about it on the community hub that they have in the um, in the, the Steam, right? Because that's why I purchased the, originally the video game. But good thing that I had the original copy of Manhunt, which is actually the for, for the original Xbox. And the thing is, uh, like, yeah, kind of I wanted to complete the one on the PC because, you know, it has like a higher definition. It looks super cool and all of that. There's more details on it, but you know what? Sometimes it's better to preserve things that they are in hard copy. In this case, would be like the one, like the original Xbox version of Manhunt. So once again, thank you so much for watching uh, my channel, The Devil Seller. I really appreciate actually like uh, the support and the enthusiasm of some of my fans. I, actually the fans of the channel and for the things that are the activities that i do like the pop culture market the devil seller or the music the stuff the dj things that i do on my on my daily basis you know different activities that i do um i want to actually thank you for all your support for me it, it means a lot actually like as long as you're watching my videos or following them up or you go through the archives on youtube i archive everything on youtube so you can visit my channel and you can get familiar with it and you can see the rest of the different video games I have covered over the past year and a half so far, right? So the thing is, uh, I want you guys to catch up with some of the games. It's something that you're looking for or you haven't covered, you haven't had the opportunity to see a certain version of a video game. I suggest you to go to my channel on youtube.com slash the devil seller or just add me on Facebook if you have any like a questions or anything like that you would like to know about certain video games that probably you never 
or you were curious about like to check out in regards to the classic era of the video game classic release or anything like that so thank you so much once again stay heavy stay metal love you all and i will talk to you later see you on episode number two of season number seven of the devil seller classic video games cheers have a great night and remember i don't wish you any nightmares or anything like that but this game can produce some of them i'm being victim of it i'm very guilty trust me Thank you so much, everyone. You be well. Take care. Bye.